this hurts. This right now, it really hurts because So, I just saw the final season of Game of Thrones. And as much as this hype has been going on for almost two years. No, one year. I don't know. I, I don't remember. It was a big gap. And then season eight is coming. Oh my god, winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter came. Died in the third episode. Then... This whole season has been bad. It's been so freaking bad. And I have kept on to some little faith that... Okay, have patience. Have patience. This whole series has been such a masterpiece. Like, it's been... It's a reason why there's a so extremely real hype around this. And it's because of the very, like... Intricate storylines. The just confusion... The sudden death and this and that and and then it's over after six episode ex like the freaking battle of bastards lasted longer than the Winterfell fight and okay it was it was interesting like th that is the best episode that had like that's at least my most favorite episode from this season eight and. I like I cannot explain my frustration over how extremely bad this ending was. Like ugh no. I have <laughs> I have Game of Thrones merch that I haven't opened because um yeah, I am also I'm working on I was about to post oh not Lo not Logan. Yeah, I'm working on the next vlog that I'm explaining what, like, the new phase that I'm going to start and all that. And I just want to throw it all. I was like, I am turning mad. I'm becoming the Mad Queen. The Mad King. Like, ugh. we had so much fate in this and they just ruined it. And I, like, some people say J.R. Martin wasn't heavily involved and, like, he knew some part and, and he had... Like, this was so extremely bad. Like, it's beyond bad. It was... Ugh, no. I am extremely disappointed. And uh, I really hope... I am forced to actually listen to the books now. I have to listen to the books because I need... This, this has been such a big title and it's been such an extremely big thing for so many years. I need to know how it really ends. This ending for me is not acceptable. I don't accept this. He just killing her, fine, okay. Then just Drogon melting the Iron Throne. And then just, whoosh, like, he's a freaking Targaryen. I thought dragons, or they were loyal to the Targaryen blood. And okay, fine, he was more loyal to Danny, But I was so, I was crossing my fingers. First of all, when they said that he has to take the black again, I was like, you're not sending him up there again. Like, are you for real? This man have done so much and that's what he gets. First of all, I was hoping he would kill himself. That was actually what I was hoping. But then when I realized, okay, no, he's accepting the fact that he's going to take the black. I was hoping that Drogon will come back and just pick him up and take him away. And then he will just like fly away and be by himself and take care of Drogon. That's the least he could do after killing his aunt. Take care of her child. A.K.A. Drogon. But no. He just... Well, I did get happy when he got together with Ghost. But uh, other than that, I was also happy that he actually ventured into the North North. But I was still hoping... Is he coming now? Is he coming now? Oh. Ugh, no. This is extremely depressing. I am down. Yeah, that's one of the games I play.